Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can check how much hard drive space you're using on your Windows 10 PC. And if you're using a lot of hard drive space, how do you actually go ahead and clear up your hard drive so you're not using as much space? And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. Anytime I talk about any of our products, including Windows 10, I have to disclose my relationship. So first off, one of the most annoying things you can deal with is you're going to install something, you're trying to do something on your PC, and you find out that you're out of space. Or maybe things are just slowing down so much because you have so much on your PC and you don't have much available space. So first off, how do you go ahead and check how much space you're using? And then how do you go ahead and clean it up? Well, it's actually easier than you think. And what I wanna to do today is I wanna show you step-by-step step how you do that. Well, hey, what are, we, what are we waiting for? Why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how to do it. Here I am on my Windows 10 desktop. And what we're gonna do is the first thing is you have this search field in the bottom left-hand corner. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and click on that. And what I wanna do now is type in storage. And what you'll see is you'll have a best match show up at the top called storage settings. Why don't we go ahead and click on that? What'll happen is that brings up a setting called storage. The first thing that I want us to look at is right here, you could see your primary hard drive. This is my C drive and it has 238 gigabytes on it. What I could see immediately beneath that is that I'm using 166 gigabytes and I have about 72 gigabytes free. So I'm using about 70% of my hard drive. So I'm actually using a good amount of the total storage space, although I do still have a little bit of space available. If you're getting really low, you'll probably be up in the 90, 95% uh, usage range. Okay, so that's how much disk space that you're using. Well, how do you go about actually clearing it up? What you'll see is beneath that, you'll see all these different categories. And what's interesting about this is, you could see by apps and features how much space they're using. For temporary files on your machine, you could see how much space they're using and so on and so forth. What I can also do is down below, there's another uh, option here that says show more categories. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and that expands the set and shows me all different types of categories on my machine. What I'm gonna do is let's go through a few of them and I'll show you how you could actually go ahead then and clean up some of the space if you find that you're using a lot of space on your computer. So the first category is system and reserved. I'm using about 64 gigabytes for that. And if I click on that, what I'll see is it says, well, these system files help Windows run properly. Your PC won't work without them. Uh, so what I find here is that I, I can't actually free up space here. This is all required um, space usage on my machine. The next category, apps and features, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. This is consuming about 42 gigabytes. So if I click on that, what I'll see is these are all the apps that are installed on my PC and then how much space they take up. As a little trick, what you can do is if you click on this sort by, instead of sorting by name, right now they're all sorted alphabetically, what I could do is I'll click there and then I'll sort all of these by size. What I could see is I have Corel Video Studio, this is my video editing software, is using about 1.5 gigabytes. That's, that's a good amount of usage right there. I also have Office installed, that's like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, that's 1.3 gigabytes. And then as I go down here, I could see the amount of space that all my different apps use. If I find apps that you know perhaps I don't use as much anymore, what I could do is I could actually click on that and then there's an option to uninstall. I'm gonna go back now and what I could also, the next category here is temporary files, I'll click on that. Uh, what this happens to be is, you know, if there are files cached on your machine or maybe you have downloads on your machine, what you could do is you could remove those. So here are my downloads folder on my uh, PC. Maybe I don't want uh, these files anymore and it's using up 1.6 gigabytes. I could go ahead and check that and then I could remove all these files. What you could do then is you could go through category by category and then just go through and see, are you still using all these things or can you clear up some space? Another big usage of space is videos, pictures, and music. Maybe you have a lot of music on your machine. Maybe you have a lot of pictures or a lot of videos. And what you could do is you could simply go through here and then you can uh, clear up some of the space in these places. What you can also do at the very bottom here, if you have multiple hard drives on your machine, you can also click on here. Let's say you have two hard drives and you can also see what the usage looks like on your other hard drives. So here I have three hard drives. I see my primary solid state drive. Uh, and then I could also see my second hard drive. I still have a lot of free space here. And then I can see an external hard drive that I have hooked up to my machine. So overall, I still have a lot of space, but my main C drive is getting a little lower. So this is how I can see 
all my space usage on my machine and I could start to free up some of that uh, disk space as well. Now, what you can do is going through manually and freeing up space, you know, that might take a little bit of time. The nice thing about Windows 10 is Windows 10 has a feature built in that'll automatically go through and it'll try to make sure that it's uh, saving disk space for you. So if there are unnecessary things that perhaps you don't want in your machine, Windows 10 will go ahead and clear those up for you. How do we take advantage of that? Well, let's check it out. Here too, within this storage view, what we're gonna do is they have something called Storage Sense. And uh, let's go ahead and just read what this says. Uh, storage Sense can automatically free up space by getting rid of files you don't need, like temporary internet files and content in your recycle bin. Right now I have it turned on, so let's go ahead and click into this and see what it does. Now with Storage Sense, what I could do is I could indicate when I want this to run. I could have it go every day, week, month, or simply when you're getting low on disk space. I have it set to when I get low on disk space. When I'm not low on disk space, I don't think it matters that much. And what you can do then is you'll go through and you'll tell it, well, when space gets low, what should Windows go ahead and delete for you? And uh, one of the good candidates to check first is temporary files that apps aren't using. Uh, so those are easy ones to clear out. You could also empty your recycle bin and just have it do it automatically for files that have been there for over 30 days. You could also go ahead and delete files in your downloads folder and you could set that to you know 30 or 60 days. Uh, right now, I just have that set to never. Um, and the last thing here is really interesting. Uh, with Windows 10, they set it up so it's very easy to sync your files on OneDrive. What you can do is for any files that you've synced into the cloud, you can then have your local machine or your computer right here, you can have it just go ahead and delete those files. So in a sense, rather than having one copy on your machine and one copy in the cloud, just keep the copy in the cloud and then get rid of the file on your computer. That way that'll also help you save uh, some space on your machine. What I do, I store all my video files in OneDrive, in OneDrive and I have about five, 600 gigabytes of video files uh, on OneDrive. And so instead of having them just clutter up my main machine here at home, uh, I simply rely on the cloud to store those files and that works well for me and keeps my hard drive clear. And lastly, what you could do within this view too is not only can you clear out files that are in the cloud, but there's also an option to just free up space right now. And that'll load up this clean now option. And what this will do is it'll simply evaluate your machine and it'll identify files that you could remove right now. So here I clicked on clean now and it said we were able to free up 5.64 gigabytes of disk space. It's kind of nice, got some immediate savings right there. So I'm gonna go back, this is the primary, this is a very nice way to check your storage usage uh, and then also clear up space. There's also a more traditional way that you could do it. Here if I open up File Explorer, I'm gonna go ahead and click on File Explorer and pull this over. What you can also do is here in File Explorer, I could see my C drive. If you right click on that and then go down to Properties, what you'll see is uh, it'll show you your uh, how much capacity you have and then how much of that capacity you're using. So it's another way to see that. Uh, and then you could also apply a disk cleanup here. I personally like the, this is kind of more of a, a legacy version of disk cleanup. This was available in older versions of Windows as well. I personally like the version that comes in Windows 10. I, I like how it categorizes files, also shows you how much space you're using in those different categories, and then also offers you an easy way to clean it up. But I did wanna show that other way using File Explorer just for completeness, so you could see all the different ways uh, how you can check your usage and then also uh, clear out some of those files. That was a quick tutorial of how to check how much disk space you're using and then if you're using too much disk space, how you can actually clear some of that out and then free up some disk space for other uses. Uh, hopefully you were able to free up some space on your hard drive and also find out how much space you're using on your hard drive. If you were, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what other videos you wanna see in the future and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed, see you next time, bye.